watching Kabo Bayan today where we have been uh, talking about Typhoon Maring or Maring uh, included in this or combined with monsoon rains, so many flooding, uh, blackouts, a lot of casualties, property damages as well. And uh, what infuriating about this, ang nakakainis po eh, kanina kausap natin si Ronnie Ligo, dapat po naiisip natin na ang pork barrel para sa ating mga kongresista, mga mambabata sa Pilipinas, eh dapat dito na pupunta. Disaster control, disaster relief, pagpapaay sa mga kalsada, pagpapaay sa mga sewage system para hindi po bumabaha. Ang nangyari, we all know about the um, almost or more than 900 million peso uh, scam ng pork barrel. At ang nakakainis pa po, nawawala po yung uh, pinaghihinalaan na kasangkot dito na si ang um, businesswoman na si Janet uh, Lim Napoles. Now, joining us on the line is Arnold Pedrigal, executive producer of Power ng Pinoy. It's a television show. And he, along with other uh, progressive Filipino-Americans, eh, meron po silang pinaplano. Ang tawag po ay Marcha Saluneta. Hello, Arnold. Welcome to Kababayan today. Hey, Janelle. Uh, okay. Thank you so much for having me here. Thank you for what you're doing. Marcha Saluneta, I know you're one of the people helping to organize that. What is that about? Well, Marcha Saluneta is really a uh, peaceful protest no, na, which is scheduled to be held on August 26th. Which is a which coincides with the National Heroes Day in Manila, and uh, really the goal is to get one million Filipinos to come and join. So we dubbed it as the protest picnic. Okay. And uh, how did it start? Um, how did it start, uh, Arnold? At ano ang pino protesta natin? Well, alam mo, uh, Janelle, you know, you mentioned earlier about the uh, series of events, no, na, which uh, was related to the pork barrel scam and John and Napoles. So basically, the goal, the goals of the protests really are: number one, we want the pork barrel system to be abolished; number two, we want the government to conduct full investigation of all involved uh, congressmen and senators, and we want them to be charged appropriately; and number three, uh, we wanted also to show support to the ombudsman to complete their investigation within 100 days. Okay, sinasabi natin, Marcha sa Luneta, and this is happening in Luneta. What about uh, Filipino-American groups all over the U.S.? Meron din bang uh, simultaneous na mga pagpoprotesta na mangyayari? Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, uh, Janelle, marami nang, I mean, you know, this is an spontaneous uh, event, uh, a series of events. And uh, uh, for L.A., we are having, uh, there's a planned uh, event, a vigil event uh, on August 25, sa harapan ng... Uh, uh, ng consulate. Mm -hmm. And alongside with that, uh, there will also be different events to be held in uh, major cities across the U.S., uh, San Francisco, Nevada, uh, D.C. And not only in the uh, U.S., it, we were also uh, planning to have events in uh, other parts of the world. And also outside Metro Manila, pala, no? we are, a lot of groups are, are, are also planning to hold events in, for example, Cebu, there's one in Baguio, uh, Sambuanga, Mindanao, Alam mo, nakakatuwa to because everything is being planned spontaneously. Makikita mo dun sa Facebook page natin that a lot of people are really angered by the news. And so we would just step up and, you know, uh, come up and, uh, and volunteer their time. Okay. I want to make sure, Arnold, that this is a non-partisan event, no? So yung mga pagmamarcha sa Pilipinas, maski dito sa iba't ibang bahagi ng Amerika at ng mundo, uh, it's not for a specific uh, political group, it's not uh, headed by a specific politician, and it's also, you know, wala rin mga um, the people taking ownership, kung di, it's a community effort. Oh, absolutely not. It's very non-partisan, as a matter of fact. Let me quote a uh, one of these statements from our uh, from the concerned citizens. No, so basically this gathering is a colorless no organizer because there is really no organizer per se. Um, it was start jump started through Facebook by uh, by Ito Rapadas who was uh, concerned about the recent events that was picked up by um, uh, Peachy Britannia who is now uh, spearheading our uh, our uh, event in Manila. Mm -hmm. Which uh, who reposted the uh, the you know the the wall post, mm -hmm. and then you can see Bernardo Bernardo Naman uh, saw that and then also reposted. Okay. And then when I saw that, I told him, why don't we start this uh, event uh, to invite more Filipinos? And then from then on, nga, after 12 hours, nag search nga yung ano, yung mga pouring of comments doon sa Power ng Pinoy Facebook page. You know, 
By the way, I just wanted to clarify that even though Carl and Pinoy was involved here, uh, it is really a collaboration of many groups. Okay. It's not just Power ng Pinoy. All we right. just happened to host the uh, we just happened to host the event. Okay, Power ng Pinoy. It's the name of a TV show, but really, when you think about it, this is really Power ng Pinoy. We have to uh, stick together so that our voices collectively will be uh, stronger and louder. So inaanyayahan po namin ang ating mga kababayan sa buong mundo. If you have friends and family elsewhere, information on the screen where you can get information. Thank you, Arnold. More power to you. Good luck on your event. Okay, thank you. And this has been Janelle Sawyer, Kababayan in Los Angeles, saying thank you. Maraming salamat po. Sana po tayo ay makatulong, makibaka. We have to be involved so that we uh, can see change in our community. Thank you, and I'll see you again next time.